Linux batteries, a couple of Linux. In this episode, we're going to see another distribution for beginners, and this one is called Mephis. Now, Mephis is based on one of the oldest Linux distributions around, that is Debian, and this sports the KDE interface. Now, in uh, previous uh, demonstrations, all of the Linux distributions that I showcased were running the genome interface. Uh, that's the interface that I choose to use, but I thought I would take the time to show you a distribution that has the alternative KDE desktop. A lot of people like this one because it does resemble Windows in some ways, and uh, it's also highly customizable. So let's go ahead and have a look at this, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Well, when we fire this up, you can see we have a number of icons down at the bottom of the screen. You have the time, you have the ability to show hidden icons, uh, all of your standard uh, icons that you would expect to find in a notification area are here. Up here in this corner, you have the ability to add widgets or add activities to your desktop. Let's go ahead and pick one out. And as you can see here, a panel opened up allowing us to choose from a plethora of interesting little uh, things that we can put up on our desktop here. Um, let's have a look at the digital clock. Just grab this and drag it to our desktop. And there you have it. Now, this little icon here will allow us to resize it to our liking. And then clicking on it will bring up your calendar. We can close this. And once again, we can reposition this wherever we want. All right, very nice. Okay, next we have uh, some quick launch items here, your Firefox web browser, your uh, system tools, and then of course this is allows you to navigate the different desktops. Now, keep in mind, I'm just running a live CD, so I do not have any drivers installed which would allow to see the accelerated effects on this. Um, but when you have this installed on your system, you will get to, and you have a graphics card that supports it, you'll also see some pretty nice accelerated effects. Okay, we'll go ahead and press our application launcher menu, and you can see that it looks pretty standard. But if we right-click on this menu and switch to the kickoff menu style, what's going to happen is you're going to have a menu that closely resembles uh, something that you would see in Windows 7, except this has some tabs on it. I think this is quite intuitive because this menu has been out long before uh, Windows 7 and Windows Vista made enhancements to their, uh, to their menus, or at least I think so. Correct me if I'm wrong there. But at any rate, it's a very nice way to navigate. For instance, if we just want to run a text editor, that's all we have to type. Just type in text, and then it gives us KWrite, which is KDE's a text editor, much like GEDIT, which or GEDIT, which is in Genome Desktop. Simple little uh, text editor. I just wanted to show that to you as an example. But also navigating this menu is quite intuitive. You can select applications, and then it neatly organizes everything. Let's look at the graphics section. You can see there are a number of uh, graphics applications, and then even more. To navigate back, you press the left panel. It highlights, and it allows you to navigate through there. Pretty neat and convenient the way that's set up. Then if you click computer, you can get to your system settings. You can also run commands without opening a terminal window. It also gives us a list of the recent items that we opened and then options for leaving the operating system. So very nice menu, but real quick so that we can go over some of the applications that are loaded with this, I'm going to go ahead and switch to the classic menu style because I find that easier for me to navigate around KDE. Okay, uh, we have uh, Arcade Games, which is Frozen Bubble. That's a fun game. 
Uh, we have Mojang. We have card games. And then we have some strategy. Not very many games, but the thing is you can load them from the Synaptic Package Manager. And that is the only package manager that I have seen uh, in my chance to review this distribution. Okay. Uh, for graphics, we have uh, the GIMP installed, Gwenview, we have Inkscape if you like doing vector graphics, and then we have uh, a document viewer as well, a color paint, a case snapshot, and LibreOffice Draw. So we know that LibreOffice comes loaded with this. You have uh, Firefox web browser. You have Conqueror. Conqueror res highly resembles Internet Explorer, or at least the last time I used KDE was like, uh, I think it was like four, year, four or five years ago, last time I had a Linux distro running with KDE. But at any rate, uh, I thought it was kind of neat. And, um, okay, we've got some Bluetooth tools and a bunch of other fun things here. And multimedia. You have uh, Amarok, which is our audio player, the K3B Disk Burner, Caden Live Video Editor. That is the very same editor that I use to make the funny Linux commercial that's on my channel. Check that out if you haven't seen it. Okay, and then of course, the well-known VLC media player play is included with this. LibreOffice comes included in the office. And then of course, a number of system settings in here and uh, a bunch of other cool things. You know, and another nice thing I like about KDE is the fact that it is easily customizable. You can just simply right click on your desktop and then where is it in here? Maybe that has changed since the last time I've used it. Okay, it has changed. They used to have a change a way to change it in the menu. So we'll just go into si the settings and we'll go into system settings here. But it does have some nice uh, ways to uh, change the appearance and everything. So let's go ahead and have a look at that. Okay, we can change our workspace appearance. One thing I like is to have everything matching. Uh, you know, for instance, down here, the bar is black, and yet the uh, windows don't match. That's kind of a little bit of an eyesore for me. So let's go ahead and change that. And it is currently using the Elegance theme, if I'm not mistaken. But let's go ahead and try Oxygen and see how this looks. Okay, that didn't do much change there. Let's see if it's in window decorations. I know it was in here somewhere earlier. Okay, I did like this window decoration. It's probably in another one of these menus. it's not as easy as I thought it was. I remember, for some reason, I remember it being a little bit easier. It's in here somewhere. I know that much.
Ah, here it is. Okay, I found it. Now, I'd say that better matches our, uh, t our uh, notification bar at the bottom. You can even change the bars on the top to any color that you want. So there's a number of neat things you can do with this. You just got to tinker with it. And if you like tinkering, this is a good operating system to tinker with. I still like the genome interface a lot better. Of course, changing the colors also change the color of the menus. So be careful when you're playing with this. I don't know if this is really that much of a user-friendly experience that in mind because you can see that I had a little bit of trouble with this myself. This is advertised as being a good distribution for beginners. I like how this looks now. Switching to this menu. Yeah, I think this would work. Using the uh, standard menu, no. But this, I like this. This is something I could work with. But at any rate, uh, they say that this is a, uh, oh, something else i got to show you, the uh, manual that comes with this. Maybe that's why they advertise it as being as user-friendly as they say they do, because the documentation is well-written on this. I had a chance to page through this a little bit earlier. And it gives you everything that's necessary, even if you're transitioning from Windows. I know it was in here somewhere. know they had something about transitioning from Windows to Linux in here. So let me pull that up. Just take me a moment to find it. Ah, here it is. Coming from Windows. And it gives you all kinds of really neat tips for transferring your files and settings over to Linux. So well written, very well put together here. I recommend that you check it out if the KDE interface is something uh, that you would prefer over Genome definitely work ha worth having a look. I still prefer the genome interface. Maybe that's because uh, I found it so much easier for me to use. Well, that's all I have. I'd like to thank you for watching, and we hope to see you next time.